Hi everyone, this is Antoinette Hunter again and Amira. I am a teacher and a developmental intervention specialist. On this video, we are going to be working on science experiment using a microscope. Ch children can have lots of fun exploring things around them with a microscope. So using a microscope can provide a, f a learning experience. You can actually buy it from Amazon or Walmart. Before asking Amira to use the microscope to evaluate specimen, I will place object in the box for, uh, for Amira to name them. What's inside the box? It is a question mark. The question is for Amira to tell me what's in the box. So a question mark asks a question. Amira will predict what's in the box she will pick an object from the box and predict what it would look like under the microscope. That's the fun part. Now we have our bottle of orange juice. I gave Amira a bottle of orange juice to predict what it would look like under the microscope. <coughs> what's inside him? the orange? <coughs> what's, what does it look like? I'm sorry, I have a cold. That's why it's like I feel the way I feel. My voice is kind of horsey. So next, we are going to get ready to open the box of the um, microscope to see what's inside and start our experiment. I am going to open it. It is actually a 30x microscope, which provides amazing details and high resolution of the specimen. 30 microscope, um, it really means that it makes the object bigger than what it actually is. So I'm looking through the manual just to see the materials that comes with the box. <clears throat> we are going to um, use a tweezer to pick up object, a dropper hand over hand technique is necessary um, for Amira to drop the specimen in the Petri dish. We have our Petri dish there which we're going to use for a science experiment. We have our slide. We have the two prepared slide. One is paper and the other one is cotton. Don't forget our question box where the fun things um, in, uh, inside. We're going to use the box for predictions. We have our orange juice and then I'm going to um, just fool around and arrange the materials on the table so we can use our microscope to start our experiment. Now, I am going to have Amira get ready to select things from the box. Look into the box and pick. Stick your hand inside. Let's see what she's going to get. She took out a little bottle, a container of lotion. Remember, you can use anything. Let's see what she's going to get next. She got a paper. A paper is what she got from the box. The next thing she's going to get is a purple feather. Purple feather, she's going to put that under the microscope to see what, it's lo what it looks like. Now, there's nothing else left in the box. I'm going to put the box to the side and get ready to start our experiment. Um, now, we have the next thing we have the dolly hair. Amira wants to try the curly hair and the streak hair. First, she starts with the curly hair from her dolly. She's going to pull it out and see what the hair looks like look like under the microscope. Now we're going to try the straight hair too because she wants to see that. She, she loves her dollies. So I'm trying to pull out a piece of it 
to put it under the microscope when she's ready so we can see what it looks like under the microscope. I'm getting ready now to start pouring. I'm going to open the oranges a little bit and give it to her just to build that sensory, I mean that sensory skills. She's going to pour the orange juice into the Petri dish. If needed, I'm going to provide her with a hand over hand technique for pouring. Now I'm going to close the orange juice and put the jar to the side. And then give her choices on two of the slide to select which one she would prefer. She took, she selected a cutting. So she's going to put the cutting now under the microscope. Now we're trying to adjust the camera to see, to see if we can, if I can give you guys a better view of what is going to look. So you can actually see better. All right, next she's going to use the dropper to take some of the specimen from the Petri dish and put it in the other Petri dish. And then she's going to put that under the microscope to see what it looks like. Now she's dropping it and I'm assisting her with a hand over hand. You know, science is fun. She's enjoying it. She like, I, I, you know, she, she appears to really um, like the squeezing because I can feel her hand. She's going to look and see what it looked like. This is actually the fun, the fun part. So looking at object under a microscope, it gives a mirror a new perspective on everyday object in, in, in her world. So she's able to use her imagination to discover that an object that is smooth can actually cover a little scratch on it or even more scratch than she sees, especially on the paper that I'm going to provide to her when she gets ready to see, to look at it under the microscope. And she may also dis discover that something that she thought was round may actually be straight under the microscope or have edges under the microscope. So that way it gives her better understanding on how things can look on that a microscope, which is really a magnifying everything. We're actually having a lot of fun. So the circle, we're going, it's like a cycle. We, we keep putting everything under the microscope and looking, in, and looking to see what it looks like. It's fun. I love science because science is just, um, it's magical. Science gives a lot of things that actually um, you wouldn't normally just discover on your own, especially looking at things under the microscope, magnifying glass, it makes things look really bigger. Sometimes I just decide to go out on nature walk with a, mic with a um, magnifying glass just to look at how things look. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoy watching this video. We love you guys. I really appreciate you taking your time to watch this video. Please do not forget to share, like, and subscribe. Without your support, we will never be able to make it. So your support is really important. We love you and thank you for watching.